In this video, we will implement a static enemy with a range of vision. We can display the gizmo that depicts the area of the detection of our enemy and can detect our player and will start shooting at us as soon as we drive into this area and will stop shooting if we drive away or if we drive behind a cover. Let's get going! This video is part of the series of videos about creating a 2D top-down tank game. We will explore different features of this game, each as a standalone video. Hi, I'm Peter and welcome to Sunny Valley Studio Tutorials. In the previous video about implementing our static enemy, we have created our AI detector system that allows us to detect our player if the player drives in this circular area the player will be detected and the visibility will be triggered as true if our player hides behind those obstacles here our target will be detected but it will be invisible for our enemy in this video we are going to implement the ability to uh, for our enemy to move the turret and to shoot at our player what we will do we will go to our scripts folder to the ai folder that we have created in the previous video and we are going to create a new script Let's call it default enemy AI. And let's open it up in Visual Studio. Okay, great. If you want to implement a bit of an advanced system, you should probably use something like finite state machine or a behavior tree. Now, if you want to learn about finite state machine, I have a separate tutorial for it. But for now, let's create a very basic AI system. I would like to have a private, something like AI behavior, and I would like to have two behaviors, shoot behavior, and I would like to have patrol behavior. Okay, since we do not have this class, I'm going to right click, quick action, and I can select generate type AI behavior, and it will generate a class in a new file. Okay, next, what I would like to have is a serialized field, and I would like to have private, and since we are using our tank, we are going to call tank controller. Let's call it tank. And another serialized private variable is our AI detector. Let's call it detector. Okay. So let me paste here the awake function, which will simply get the detector equals get component in children of type AI detector and tank get component in children of type AI uh, tank controller. Now next, I want to have an update method. And in our update, we are going to call if our detector dot target visible. So this is the parameter that we have implemented to our AI detector in the previous video. And here I would like to call our shoot behavior. Since if we have detected the target, uh, target and the target is visible, I want to call our perform detection. We do not have this method. And we are going to simply pass here the tank and our detector okay and since we do not have this method right click quick action and let's generate this method inside our ai behavior now else if we do not see the target so if our uh, player is not visible we are going to simply call our patrol behavior dot perform detection and we are going to pass here tank and detector okay great so now last thing that we will need to do is to expose those shoot behavior and patrol behavior we are going to add serialized field so that we can assign those through the inspector okay great and this is the base of our strategy pattern since we are going to have the ai behavior and the ai behavior can have child classes that will be responsible for different actions now admittedly it is much more rigid than the finite state machine pattern but it will do for our simple example let's go back to unity great i will select our static enemy and i will assign here our default enemy ai now what we will need to do is uh, to assign our tank and detector and i can see that we are not seeing the ai behaviors so we will need to go to our ai behavior and open it up great and the reason it is not serialized is because it is not extending the mono behavior. So we are going to add here the mono behavior. And since we have created this through the create uh, from the quick help menu, we are not importing the uh, using Unity engine library. 
Now we can use the mono behavior and we want to set this AI behavior to be abstract. And the perform detection will be abstract as well. And let's delete the content of this method since abstract methods uh, can't have any content here. And this will be the base of our strategy pattern. And I meant to call it perform action. So let's control RR to rename it and let's call it perform action. Okay, great. Now that's good. So let's go back to Unity and let me create a new script. And it will be called AI patrol static behavior. Great. We'll not need the start and update. And instead of mono behavior, we are going to extend the AI behavior. Now we get this squiggly red line. So re let's right click quick actions and implement the abstract method, which is the perform action. Before we can implement it, we will need to have a couple parameters. Patrol delay, which will be the delay between the uh, searching for a random direction and setting it for our tank to rotate the turret towards. The vector 2 random direction will be the random direction that we will select. And the current patrol delay will be the delay that we are calculating before we get a new random direction and make our tank turn towards it. Next, what, we'll, what we will need to do is actually set this random direction. So in the awake, we are going to call random dot inside unit circle, which will simply return a random point inside or on a circle with radius of one. Now I can say that we have still an issue because since we have created the AI behavior class, right click, quick action and create, it is less accessible. So let me go to AI behavior, right click on it and go to the definition and it is indeed internal. Let's change it to be public. Okay. And this is just for the encapsulation purposes. Let's save it. Let's go back to AI patrol static behavior. Okay. Now the red squiggly line is gone, but here is again a squiggly line because we need to set it to be public. Okay. Now that's good. Now we have our random direction, we will need to perform some action here in our AI patrol static behavior. So we are getting the tank controller and AI detector. And here, let me paste the code that we will use. Okay. So first of all, what we will do is we will calculate the angle, which is the vector two dot angle between the tank. Aim turret is the turret of our tank, transform dot right. Now we are using vector two dot right because our turret is pointing in the right direction. This is the red uh, line depicting the X value. Okay. Now we have calculated the angle between those two vectors. Now we are going to check if our current patrol delay is less than zero. So if we are currently moving our tank and the angle is less than two, we're going to select a new random direction and we are going to call our current patrol delay equals patrol delay. Now else, if we are currently, the current patrol delay is greater than zero, we are going to subtract from it times the delta time. Else, we are going to call our tank, handle turret movement, and we are going to pass here the vector two of our tank aim turret transform dot position, plus the random direction to get the correct direction towards which our tank should be turning. So let's save it. And let's go back to Unity to create the shooting behavior. Okay, let me create a new script. And we are going to call it AI shoot behavior. Okay. Again, we are going to delete the update and start and extend the AI behavior instead of the mono behavior. Again, right click quick actions and implement abstract method. And that's it. Again, we will need to have a couple of public fields. And let me paste those here. One of those will be field of vision for shooting. So basically, if our turret is pointing up, but our enemy, uh, our player is down from our turret, there is no point in shooting in upwards direction. There is no chance of hitting the player. If, on the other hand, our player is in the uh, range of our shooting, so maybe it is the 60 degrees in between, so this is the cone of shooting where our enemy can shoot, if our player is within those bounds, we will be able to shoot. And that's basically what is this field of vision for. And we have this simple public flag. Uh, is the target in the field of vision or not? Okay, let me paste the logic behind the action. 
So when we want to perform the action, we are going to simply check if target is in the field of vision. We are going to pass the tank and the detector. If it is, we are going to call tank.handle shoot, which simply shoots a bullet from a turret. Tank.handle turret movement, it will be moving towards our position. Now, if you want, want to shoot, we also should probably stop our tank from movement because we can reuse this AI shoot behavior for our moving tanks as well. So let's call our tank dot handle move body and we are going to pass here vector 2.0 just to prevent our tank from moving when it is shooting let's take a look at the target in field of vision basically what we are going to do is set the target in field of vision equals false and then we are going to calculate the direction between our detector target position minus the tank aim turret transform position what we can do is calculate the angle between the right direction of our turret and the direction towards our target, towards our player. And if it is less than field of vision, so our field of vision is 60 degrees, we want to check if this is less than 30 degrees for one side. And if it is true, then we will set the target in field of vision true, and we're going to return true. So apparently this target in field of vision is unnecessary, so let's delete it sorry about this okay we have removed the boolean flag so now if the target is in tar uh, in the field of vision we are going to perform a shot great let's go back to unity and let's set it all up okay we are going to select our static enemy and we are going to drag our air shoot behavior and a patrol behavior patrol static behavior we will need to uh, assign our tank detector and the tank controller to our default enemy AI and we can assign our AI shoot behavior and AI patrol behavior or rather this is necessary because it is not going to find those behaviors. Now our field of vision for shooting is 60 degrees we could create a gizmo for it to depict it and we have our AI patrol static behavior which is patrolling every four seconds and the random direction for now is zero zero. Let me press play and let's uh, see what is happening. We can delay, uh, decrease the patrol delay to be 1, for example, so our tank will be patrolling the area. Okay, and now if we drive our tank towards the enemy, it should rotate towards us and start shooting and start following our tank. So this is a success. Now if we drive behind the obstacle, now our tank is not seeing anything. It will be uh, patrolling. Now we can destroy it. And we have an issue because we are destroying the tank, but not the static enemy itself. Previously, we have created the inscripts folder that destroy util. Let me stop the game. We are going to assign to our static enemy the destroy util. And now what we can do is we can assign to our tank to our on destroy. And instead of destroying the tank, we are going to assign our static enemy. And we are going to select destroy util and destroy helper. Now if we press play, we, it should be all working fine. If we destroy our enemy it will be gone and everything will work all right. And that's basically it for creating our static enemy. Now in the next video for the series, we are going to create an enemy that drives through a preset path. So it will be patrolling, moving and patrolling. And if it detects the player, it will stop. For now, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this short tutorial. If you want to support me, please take a look at my Patreon website. Check out my Udemy course about creating a 2D top-down shooter using the URP and UNT 2020. There will be a link with a discount in the description if you are interested. Okay, great. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode of this series. Take care.